Hey everyone, Jared here. Today we are going to be taking a look at something very special. Summon Knight 5. Now, I got a couple of things I wanted to go over. First and foremost was the fact that this game was released in 2014, late 2014, digitally. And then Gaijin Works actually put out a physical release. Now, there were a couple of releases here. There were only... Um, overall, I forget what it is, only a few thousand of these were ever made. There's the version you're seeing here, which is what came with the UMD, um, well, game, and the soundtrack. And then there was a version that came with the same thing, except that it had this nice uh, sort of mailer box with it. Uh, either way, for me, this is this is good enough. What I wanted to just go over very, very quickly was this was released April. The physical version was released April 2016. That's 2016. And if you know anything about, uh, like, Sony's portables, you'll know that the PlayStation Vita hasn't exactly uh, been the success that Sony were hoping for. And pretty much... They're almost abandoning support of the PlayStation Vita, at least in North America. There are very few games that are getting released for that platform. So, imagine my surprise upon learning that there was a physical release for Summon Night 5, which the original digital version came out last year, 2015, and now in 2016 we get a physical release. As of this recording, this is the last officially released game um, on the PlayStation Portable on a UMD, okay? Now, Gaijin Works, these guys here, let's see if I can bring this up to show you. See, Gaijin Works has said that they are looking at bringing other games out on the PlayStation Portable in North America, and depending on demand or pre-orders or what have you, they could potentially put out another UMD release. But I am telling you this now for the collectors out there. This is essentially another collector's corner because if you are into the PlayStation Portable and you collect physical UMD releases, please keep in mind that this is released in April of 2016. There is a very high chance that this could be the last North American release on the PlayStation Portable. Maybe not, maybe there will be additional releases, but if you are into the platform, I would highly recommend, at least from a collector standpoint, to purchase this game. On eBay already, this is going for well over 100 US dollars, and at the time of this recording, if you go to videogamesplus.com, which is a Canadian wholesaler, you can pick the game up, the, the, the limited edition, if you want to call it that. The, the whole thing is a limited edition, as far as I'm concerned. That includes these two. So you get the UMD release, plus you get the, um, the uh, CD soundtrack, and you get a digital version of the game. So if you are a true collector and you want to keep this sealed for all time, you can go ahead and do that. I am not going to do that. I purchase these games to play them. And yes, I have a digital version, but I want to show you guys what you actually get. Now, the PSP in general, I don't know why, but it's not that it got a bad name. I think it's because the DS basically outsold it almost by a factor of two to one. And I say almost because people don't realize that this system is actually the eighth highest selling system ever. It sold over 82 million units worldwide. And yes, the Nintendo DS sold over 150 million units worldwide, which is probably why people think like, oh, this got totally destroyed. Well, when you compare it like that, it did. But 82 million units places the PSP at a higher sell-through than the Game Boy Advance. So just keep that in mind. I, I, I like to tell people that because it kind of surprises them that the PSP was that successful. And ladies and gentlemen, it was that successful. But seeing a release in 2016 after its follow-up, the PlayStation Vita, is pretty much dead. That's really, really surprising. And I really like that it's Gaijin Works because Victor Ireland... The guy who created Working Designs is the guy behind this particular, um, this particular company, and it's fitting. 
because Magic Knight Ray Earth, which was done by Working Designs, was the last officially released game or last licensed game to get released in North America. And it would be very fitting if this actually turns out to be the last official release on the UMD for the PlayStation Portable. I think that would be very cool, at least in North America. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to actually open this. I'm just taking it off camera here so that I can put my little finger through and open it up because I have no intention of selling this. I want to play it. I've been kind of actually looking forward to playing a brand new UMD game. And even if I have it digital, so what? All right, so here it is. Summon Night 5. Let's see if I can... There it is. I still, I, I, I think that's very, very, very fitting. So here we go. We get a look at the, the back. It seems so, so funny to actually see this. And then we have PSP, Summon Night, and then you get your little, your usual thing there. And let's open this up. And here you go. Your UMD release for Summon Night 5. And I mean, really, I find this absolutely wild. Absolutely wild, considering Sony doesn't even support this anymore. And yet here it is. A brand new release in April of 2016 on the PlayStation Portable. Let's remove this. Show you guys, you get that nice looking... Uh, Nice looking artwork there. And remember that working designs, this is what they're known for. They're known for putting out, you know, quality, quality instruction manuals and things like that. So there's no difference here. You get a full color manual. And remember, this is an official release. This is not an indie release or anything like that. This was essentially licensed to Sony. They gave them permission to release it. On UMD, it's a real official release. And it can be yours for $59.99 Canadian. And I would suggest, considering the limited number that were actually printed, if you are at all interested in this, you should run over to videogamesplus.com. And no, I'm not endorsing them or anything like that. They're not, they're not endorsing us. It's just... Um, that's the only place you can find this. If you go the eBay route, you are going to spend some serious money. And then we also get this, which is, whoops, which is most likely, as I drop it everywhere, a poster. Yeah, it's going to be a poster. Let's see, maybe I'll uh, just zoom out a bit. There we go. All right. There we go, Summon Night 5. There it is. Very cool. I mean, very, very cool. And on the other side, what do we have? We have a horizontal. So you get a horizontal and a vertical um, little poster. Very, very cool stuff. And I, I really, truly love uh, what this company does. I think it's just awesome. I mean, an official release, an official UMD release in 2016. That's crazy. So we'll open the soundtrack here really quickly. How else will I listen to it? And I don't know actually about this game. I haven't followed this game very much. But when I found out that there was a brand new UMD release, needless to say, I jumped on that right away because I was like, what? There's no way. In 2016, crazy. Absolutely crazy. So here you go. You'll see it says uh, right there here. Only to be included with Summon Night 5 limited edition bundle. Look at that. 37 different songs. It's crazy. Probably that same, uh, yeah. That nice horizontal poster. And there you go, guys. That's a look at Summon Night 5. 
on the PlayStation Portable on UMD. Absolutely crazy. And like I said, very, very, very high chance that this will be the last uh, officially released title on the platform. So if you want to get a copy, like I said before, it's video games, that's with an S, plus P-L-U-S dot com. It's in Canada, but they ship worldwide. And I would act fast because there are not many of these that have been printed. And one day, this will be worth a lot of money. I can guarantee you. So there you go, guys. I will obviously be reviewing this at some point for Retro Wednesday because technically the PSP is a legacy platform. How it actually got a brand new release is pretty staggering. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I will see you all in the next video.